Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zuhu CRM to Twilio in 2024. So integrating Zuhu CRM with Twilio uh, allows you to streamline communication and also it will allow you to automate some SMS messaging directly from your CRM. So make sure to follow this step-by-step -step guide to make the integration seamlessly and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser for me here i'm using brave for you you can do whatever you want once you open that browser basically you can go to the url section open two things first of all zuhu.com and second of all is twileo.com Make sure to log in into your both accounts if you have one. If you don't, basically just go and create an account. So as an example for Twilio, you can simply click on login at the top right corner. You will be taken here. Make sure to log in into that account. If you don't have an account, basically just click on sign up and make sure to create that account right away. For example, here, I'll just go and log in into my account. So like that, dot com and click on continue. Here I'll have to enter then. I'm connected with the Google, so I'll just deal. Let me choose it there. So, for example, this sends me something, so I'll just go here and enter it. Yeah, I receive it on my phone, so I'll just go here and enter that. Yeah, so 60, 13, like 25, for example. Remember this for 30 days. Yeah, why not? Then click on continue. Simple as that. So, and I should be connected to Twilio. Same will be for Zuhu. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm already connected. So for you, you have to go and connect to it. You can even use here a Google account, LinkedIn account, Microsoft account to log in or even create an account if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. Once you do so, you'll find yourself here. Click on CRM as an example. And I'll be taken here. So I'll just go here and click on access to CRM. And I should be right into it as an example. So to connect Zeus CRM with Twilio, there's two options. There's the direct option within the some extension in the marketplace and but for me of course i'll focus more on the third party uh, tool which is zapier i'll focus on it more in this video so it's actually up to you to to, to choose whatever suits you for me i prefer the second option very very much because it will get, let me do a lot of automation uh, other than the connection with each other I'll, it will let me like connect and also automate a lot of stuff between the two platforms so an example here of course, to connect it, as we said, we can simply just go here to the marketplace. As you can see, the icon will be right there. So, as an example, on the left of setup, just go and click on that. Once you do so, you'll find yourself here. Just go here to search apps and simply type Twilio. As simple as that. And hit the enter button. You can look for an app, as an example, that will let you connect into it. As an example, maybe this, Ultrazoos, uh, Twilio for CRM, as an example, as an example, connects with people through Twilio, SMS, and WhatsApp messages just uh, stay in from Zoo CRM. As an example, it seems like an app that will let you connect it with each other. As an example, yeah, you can see uh, see here in the video, read the description. As an example, pricing this app contains an app pricing, so $5 per month to send just 20, 50 messages for free. No credit card required, as an example. So if you click here and install, as you can see, you even have to have a plan and Zuhu CRM, the standard at least. And the standard, of course, to go and have it, you'll need at least to uh, to pay, as example, $18 per month. If you pay monthly, if you pay in yearly, as example, it's going to be, uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, it seems 12 And of course, you can even try to do the connection from Twilio, as example, you can go to the marketplace and look for the add-on, as examples. And yeah, get started with the add-ons example. So yeah, go to Twilio Marketplace. And here we'll have to look basically for, for example, a lot of apps. So just go here and type Control F and look for Zuhu and see if they have Zuhu CRM. So as you can see, they don't have even Zuhu uh, CRM. So how can we connect it? As we said, for me, I'm not even going to do to use that. So I just show you like there's that option. But for me, as we said, I'll just go here and use Zapier. Make sure to go and log in into an account. If you have one, if you don't, go and create an account. You can use Google Port to create or even log in into an account into that. Once you do so, you'll find yourself here. Go to this list panel, click on apps. As an example, we need now to connect our Zoho CRM and Twilio into Zapier. So I'll just go here to search apps and type Twilio. And I'll find this here, click on connect, basically. And then, as you can see, they'll ask me for both account SID and authentication token. So just go here, uh, login into your Twilio account, go to API credentials on this page, and you'll find the account SID. So I'll just click on that. They'll take me to that exact page. I don't even have to look up uh, to it here. 
for example, once I go there, uh, I'll find my account name, account is ID, so I'll just go and copy that, basically. And yeah, okay, here, and then authentication token. So where I will find the authentication token, for example, found directly below your account is ID. So example, authentication tokens are like re relocated. You can find this now in here, for example. So I'll just go and click on here. Yeah, if it's relocated, why not? So where's authentication token? It should around here. So yeah, here's this example. So the, the authentication token for me is this. So for me, I'll just go and click on view that and copy it and basically paste this here. And I'm coming back into you. And of course, once you enter it, just go and click on yes, continue to Twilo. So once I do so, I'll just come back here. As you can see, I'll find this like connected just five seconds ago. So I'll have to do the same. As example, just go back and click on apps with Zoho CRM. For me, Zoho CRM is already like connected to my Zapier, but of course, I'll show you how to do it. So just go here and click on Zoho CRM Connect. And you here you'll have to enter a domain for me. It's Zoho.com. Of course, where you will find that basically, just go to your Zoho CRM. For me, I have zoo.com for you. If you have like dot .com, dot .something, just go and enter it out. As an example, you have here, it could be Australia, Canada, depending on wherever you live. As an example, so just type whatever you have, then click on yes, continue. Once you do so, as an example, you'll have to give access to all that. Click on accept and it will be connected. As an example, for me, it's already connected. So once you connect it, now it's time to create Zaps. So go to this last panel, click on Create Zaps, of course. And here, you'll have to type whatever you want, depending on whatever you're going to do with this connection for example uh, when i get something on twilio maybe send or create something in zuhu zuhu crm whatever you want for me i don't know what you want exactly so I'll just let it uh, for the ai to create something random of course you can do it manually if you want just click on it in here choose the app choose the event and etc but for me i'll just use this ai it's also an example connects here twilio example or maybe i don't, I don't know so i'll just uh, choose zuhu as a trigger so whatever you type first is going to be the trigger so zuhu crm uh, with like uh, so twilio simple as that and hit the enter button as you can see it will take five seconds i guess maybe even less and yeah click on add all steps and as you can see everything will be added now you can simply ch see here the event you can change as an example the trigger here will be when i receive a new will and get a new contact and the action of course will be send an sms as simple as that so an example here you'll have to test the trigger of course uh, it could be another steps here if you change the event the same will be for this example so this what's the uh, same as should be from number this example uh, to you'll have to fill up all those informations depending on the event that you enter here so example you can choose call phone if you choose call phone as example this will change if you choose like uh, api request this will change also so just finish this as example once you finish it, you'll be able to see it. once both checked you can simply publish it and this connection uh, will be established and you, it will be even uh, or you'll be even uh, able to uh, do some automation for example so this is automated now once you publish it so whenever you receive that it will create that and you can create unlimited zaps with that uh, even with the free plan on zapier so that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye